the clear blue of the western sky comes Sky King. America's favorite flying cowboy. You sure that load's coming through tonight? Of course I'm sure. He makes his run every Tuesday night about the same time. Be along in a few minutes. I sure hope so. As soon as I get my cut, I'm heading back to the big city. How do you stand to live in a small town like Grover? I wonder. It must be him now. Joe's always on time, and I can't understand him being late to his own wedding. Maybe that's Joe. Excuse me. Oh, Martha, come in. Well, how is it? Well, uh, I had a little trouble to get an old car started. Hope we ain't too late to wish him luck. Why? Guess we're too late for the ceremony. No, the wedding hasn't taken place yet. Make yourselves comfortable. Please don't worry. Wait, you know that a, a team of wild horses wouldn't keep Joe Halliday from you. He's so late already. He might have at least phoned. Well, here I am. <laughs> a bride without a bridegroom. And me? Well, I'm, a, I'm a bridesmaid with, without a wedding. My very first chance, too. Oh, but you know how men are. They're... Well... Well, you know, Joe will be here any minute, you see. Uh, I ought to have my head examined. Running out of gas. What a wedding night. I, Francis, take thee, Joe. No, no, uh, I, Joe, take thee, Francis. Well, I, Joe, ain't gonna take anybody if I don't get there pretty quick. Hey, fellas, can you spare a little gas? I I'm all out. I Mr. Frost, you shot him. It's very observant of you, Joe. I get back and help load that truck. But, but I'm already late for my wedding, and I... What about him? Joe, go help with the truck, or you'll be stretched out beside him. Start moving those cases from that truck over to this one. What are we going to do with him when he gets through? Same as we did with the driver. Joe, this is a quiet job. Now, come on, hurry up. Come on. Can't stay here all night. Let's split up. Shoot each other in the dark. Don't be stupid. Joe! Joe! I know you can hear me. You've got one chance of staying alive. 
Just one. Staying alive, are you crazy? Just one chance, Joe. Get lost. As far away from Grover as you can run. Play it smart, Joe, and stay alive. If you don't play it smart, that girl of yours will never live long enough to be a bride. dang shame. Fine girl like Frances. I never thought Joe would do a thing like this. Do you reckon he just got scared to get married and run off? You don't really think that, do you, Hezzy? Well, no, I reckon not, but it's darn strange. There, nobody answered the phone there, and the sheriff couldn't find nobody over there. Yeah, Mitch is still looking. I'm gonna help as soon as I take Fran home. Martha, you see how lucky you are? Come on. There goes the last of them. Except for the girl. When she leaves, I want you to follow her. Still a chance he might go to her place. We supposed to make a career out of this? My friend, would you prefer the electric chair? Friend. Friend? I, I guess I better take you home. What's keeping him? I don't know. Looks like Joe might have taken my advice. There he is, over by the shed. Not get away again. I got your phone call, Mitch. Thanks, guy. How you feeling? Fair. Guess it pays to have a thick skull. But I wish you'd explain to me what the connection is between the rap on my head and this murder case. I'll do better than that. I'll show you. Holiday's car. Mm -hmm. Joe's mixed up in this somehow. Mitch, surely you don't think Joe shot the driver, do you? I'm not ready with answers yet. I'm still full of questions. He couldn't have done it. I'd stake my life on it. That fellow back there staked his life on something, too. Joe was here, and he's missing. And getting mixed up in something like this is the best excuse a man can have for missing his own wedding. I suppose you're going to have to tell Francis about this. I'll take Penny with me. Fran's bound to be broken up about it, especially this on top of everything else. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look so good for Joe any way you cut it, does it, Mitch? Not if he's alive. What do you mean? Alive, he's the best suspect I've got.
Fran, dear, I'm sorry about what happened. Terribly sorry. And I can't even tell you anything about it, or your life will be in danger. Your life? Go on. You've got to forget all about our plans and about me. Believe me, Fran, this is for your sake, not mine. I'll always love you, darling. Joe. What's it all about, Skye? The sheriff called to tell me they found an empty gasoline can near where that fellow was killed last night. Suppose Joe did run out of gas. Went to look for some, stumbled on that hijacking in time to see the killing. Joe's always running out of gas. But that doesn't explain where he is now. No. Oh. Just a guess, of course, but... Suppose Joe did see that killing. He could be in hiding because he's afraid whoever did it might try to kill him, too. Fran, I think there's a chance to help him. But he says here that your life will be in danger, too. Oh, I don't care, Sky. I love him. If he's in trouble, I, I want to help. Okay. Let's go. Well, Mitch? He's alive. I suppose that makes him your best suspect. Sky, I like Joe Halliday, too. It's a whole lot tougher to go after somebody you like, but the law is the law. Well, doesn't the fact that Joe's car was found out of gas put a new light on the subject? All right, Sky. So he didn't commit the murder. But he was there. And withholding information is a crime, too. You know that. Joe's still in trouble. Can't beat that kind of trouble by trying to run away from it. I'd like to talk to that boy. We've got to find him first. Scott! Why didn't I think of it before? Maybe he's where he sent it from. The letter, I mean. Maybe that's where he is. Terrenceville. It's postmarked 8 a.m. He made pretty good time. Terrenceville. That's a, that's a bus stop on the road north. Hardly seems likely he'd drop off there. Maybe he, he, he would. He, he talked about taking me fishing at some lake near there for a honeymoon. Now we're getting somewhere. Uh, oh, here's Terrenceville. Uh, oh. Lots of lakes. Oh. I know. We used to go fishing up there, remember? Oh, yes. Well, it's a chance. I'll send some teletypes up that way. Maybe somebody will spot him. Okay, and I'll fly in there and scout around. Sky, all those mountains and lakes, it'd be like trying to pick one little cloud out of a whole thunderstorm. Well, there's a landing strip at Fletcher Lake. The only other way in there is by pack train. Pack train? Joe mentioned packing in. Too late to fly up there now. There's no lights on that landing strip. I'll gas up and take off first thing in the morning. Come on, Fanny. Oh, Sky. Are you going as Joe's friend or my deputy? Let's worry about that when Joe comes back, huh? All right, Sky. Making a long trip, Sky? Far enough, Fletcher Lake in the morning. Fletcher Lake, huh? Going fishing again? Fishing? Well, in a way. Bring me back some trout. Last time they were mighty fine. Okay, I'll do that. Come on, hungry. I'll buy you a hamburger. How much further is it to Terrenceville? We should be there in about an hour. We'll catch a little sleep and then head off for Lake Fletcher. About 10 o'clock in the morning, we should be seeing the kid. And this time, we'll get him. I killed him with my bare hands. He sure picked a good place to hide. Yeah, but not good enough. Doesn't look much like lake country down there. It's been pretty dry up here this year. It's usually a lot greener. There's Fletcher Lake up ahead. Folks, 
Hi, Mr. Winslow. I'm glad to see somebody up here. The lake's pretty low this year, what with the drought and all. But you might catch something. Well, we didn't come up here to fish, Mr. Winslow. We were looking for a friend. <laughs> Aren't we all? And I'm sorry, folks. There's not a soul up here right now. Well, who's that over there? Sky, it's that... That's Joe. He's not a guest. He's my new handyman. Been chopping wood. When did you come in? Yesterday. Joe! Sky, Benny! Sky, Benny, what are you doing here? Excuse me, son. When you're finished with your friend, you better get back to your chopping and come up to cabin and help me repair some rods. Yes, sir. Sky, I... You didn't leave much of a trail. We were lucky to find you. How's Frances? She'll be all right as soon as you get back to her. Well, I can't go back. You've got to go back. Not only for your own sake, but for Francis as well. But you don't understand. If I went back, they'd... They'd what? They'd kill her. And me too. Get the horses out of sight. When I signal you from the plane, Join me. Right. You think I'm doing this because I want to? Why are you doing it? Well, one of the men was a stranger, but the other man was Mr. Frost. Frost? You mean the fellow that runs a warehouse in Grover? Yeah, and even if the sheriff arrests him, I'm afraid of what the other man might do. Joe, you can't let threats keep you from doing what you think is right. If we all did that, this world would be run by bullies. Now, don't you worry. Francis will be protected. Come on, let's get your things. We'll head back for town. I'll radio Mitch to pick up Frost and put a guard on Francis. Guy, look! What is it? Looks like we lost most of our gas. I better check the gauges. Don't bother, Mr. King. Frost. You have a nice talk with Joe? Yeah, real informative. Careful, Sky. Back up. All right. All of you get into the plane. You're taking a nice short trip. What, with no gas? Oh, I didn't drain all of it. I figure you got maybe 10 minutes left. Now, get in. We can't get anywhere in 10 minutes. It takes more gas to take off and, and climb. And there's no place to land. Then you can land on the top of a tree or on a nice soft mountain. We're in a big, deep lake. I checked those maps you got in the plane. There isn't even a road around here. All oh, the folks back home are going to be sorry to hear that you had a plane crash. In case you was thinking I forgot something, I took your parachutes out and your gun. Oh, and the radio won't work either. I'll take my horse. You get out the other end of the runway. Just so you don't get any ideas about stopping down there and making a run for it, I'll be here to get you started. He'll be down there to finish you off if you don't get off the ground. Oh, isn't there anything you can do, Sky? I'll save every drop of gas I can. As soon as these engines start, we're going to be moving. No warm up? Fasten your belts. We're going awfully slow. Are we about to crash? The slower we go, the less gas we use. What's that? Stall warning. Don't worry about it. I'm running on as lean a mixture as I dare. Just a 
few more feet. Come on, Songbird. If we can just clear this ridge. But there's nothing but mountains. There's a shallow lake just the other side of this ridge. It may be dry enough to make a landing. It's our only chance. There goes one. What happens now? Feather the prop to reduce drag. We'll fly in one engine. There goes the other one. That does it. We're crashing. Let's make sure they're smashed up good. Can we get there? Looks like about two miles. The Songbird has a four to one glide ratio. It's gonna be awful close. Here goes. Mr. King, that's the greatest hunk of flying I've ever seen. Well, kids, we're not out of the woods yet. Out you go. Oh. Wow, I'm glad to be on solid ground again. Me too. Well, I know it sounds strange coming from a cattleman, but for once in my life, I'm thankful for a drought. <laughs> Do you think they'll come over here to check up? Well, they're bound to. Fletcher Lake lies just beyond that ridge. There's a trail coming down to... You thinking the same thing I am? I sure am. You want to try it? I sure do. Let's go. What? What, what are you going to do? You stay here and you keep out of sight. I want them real curious. Yeah, but, but, but what are you going to do, Scott? I mean, hey, wait a minute. Where are you going? There's a plane, but it didn't crash. 